fan sure has a click to it. It's like a Geiger counter. All right, welcome back, everybody. If you're paying attention to the channel, we featured this headset in a short recently. Hear that? This headset's got a bad fan. Something rustling around in there. Well, the customer sent this in because the fan makes a little crackle when it spins up, which either indicates that there's something wrong with the fan blades or there's something wrong with the fan itself. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this fan out of here and we're just going to see uh, what's going on and then probably replace this fan because my suspicion is that one of these bearings is bad. Because we featured this video in a short, I've already taken out the face shield and the front cover. So we've already kind of are establishing tests on this and we just need to take out the additional things inside the headset to remove this fan. Before I go any further, I just want to remind everybody that the Quest 3S giveaway is still going on until Friday. So if you've not had a chance to enter the Quest 3S giveaway, you can do that by clicking the link in the description or checking out our website for more instructions on how to enter. We've had more than a thousand people participate in this giveaway so far, so I'm really excited that we're here in this last week, and I'm stoked to see who is going to walk away with this new Quest 3S. Don't forget, you can also use the code Quest 3S to get five free entries into the giveaway, even if you don't do anything else. All right, back to the video. I'm going to start by taking out this Wi-Fi antenna here. You can use tweezers, or you can just cut that with your thumbnail, and then we're going to go ahead and take out these three screws. Then I'm going to take out the Bluetooth antenna. There's two screws up here that hold the fan in, and then, of course, this fan cable, and then we'll see where we're at. Everything's unscrewed now, and let's go ahead and turn this on. Still clicking a little bit. It doesn't seem like it's the fan. I don't even really see anything caught up in there. Go ahead and put this back on here. Plug this in. It still does click just a little bit, but it's less now since I took everything out. That click's barely audible, but it's still there. So let's try a different fan, see if we still get that click. All right, that's much quieter. So even though the visual inspection on this is pretty good and I just can't see anything wrong with my naked eye, I have to assume that there is something wrong with one of the fan blades where it's just a little too low and just rubbing up against something, although I don't see any wear marks either. But the proof is in the pudding. If you replace a component, and you don't experience the issue, it's a pretty good sign that, at least to me, that something is wrong with the component. So we'll just do that test again. No click, no audible issues. I think that that's good. So, so that's pretty much it. Fan goes in, no issues, and we're good. We'll go ahead and button that back up and make sure that we don't experience any issues once everything is properly seated again, because there is a little bit of wiggle room that comes out of this as we screw it back into place. I can't actually, one thing that I can do is I can go ahead and that screw out here and we can see if the fan itself on the inside doing anything different. So this little fan unit just comes out of this housing like that. It's hard to see. There is some little dust and there's just a little tiny wear mark on that side there. It looks like this part of the plastic may have absorbed some damage. So maybe, maybe there's a little piece of plastic there that's hanging off and causing that clicking issue because that's that's about right that's about right in line with where the fan should be or maybe it's just a bad bearing in there that's causing that click to be honest with you I've got so many of these little fan blades and so many of these housings that when one of these fans goes bad I usually just replace it but it is kind of an interesting case because most of the time when these units come in and they're super noisy there's like a super apparent issue either one of the fan blades is bent or there's something that's caught up in here that's causing this issue but in this case I do genuinely just think that the motor unit itself just has a little click to it interesting All right, we'll do one more test here. That thing is quiet. I don't hear, I don't hear anything now. <laughs> so, which I'm sure will make the customer really happy because what they sent into us sounded like a Geiger counter. Cool, we'll go ahead and turn this unit back off and then get a button back up. 
All right, and that unit is ready to go. So if you're having an issue with the fan and it kind of sounds like a Geiger counter where it's doing a little click constantly, or you're getting overheating issues, a replacement fan might be in order. Sometimes those things can be cleaned out, but a lot of times there's just mechanical issues with the units because they're getting older and the fans work pretty much constantly as the unit's going. Fans are pretty much one of those things that we always have in stock on the website. So if you need a fan, just uh, feel free to reach out to us and hit us up at fixmyoculus.com. And I know that this wasn't like a full tutorial video, so if you do need the full tutorial on Quest 2 fan replacement, you can check out the link in the description. I have already made a video on that that is a little bit more detailed and comprehensive. Also, I just wanted to mention again about the Quest 3S giveaway. We are doing that until Friday at midnight. So if you've not entered that yet, it's free to enter, it's free to play, and you can get as many entries as you want by sharing with other people. So definitely check that out because... Who doesn't want a free Quest 3S? Christmas is right around the corner, so even if you've got a headset, you know, maybe you could give it to somebody. But that's really all I got for you guys today, so leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and we will see you on the next one.